Welcome back to Arsenal News TV and today we're going to first look at Sheffield United may have just dropped Armand Ramsdale to Arsenal transfer hints and then we're going to look at the £15 million transfer decision that could see Arsenal handed James Madison transfer boost. So the first transfer headline states that Sheffield United may have just dropped Aaron Ramsdale to Arsenal transfer hint. And the reports are stating that Arsenal reportedly want to sign England goalkeeper Aaron Ramsdale this summer. Arsenal have been handed a major boost by Sheffield United who did not name Aaron Ramsdale in their squad to face Carlyle United in the Carabao Cup on Tuesday night. Aaron Ramsdale would have been ineligible to feature in the competition had he played and then completed his rumoured move to the Gunners. Also, boss Mick Lawson is overseeing a major revamp of his squad with fresh talent replacing senior players who have overstayed their welcome. The Sheffield United goalkeeper is one player who has been linked with the transfer to the Emirates Stadium as Mick says has plans to source his goalkeeping options for the 2021-2022 campaign. Aaron Ramsdale was part of a Blade side who were comfortably relegated from the Premier League last term, but their plight did not reflect his fall. The 23-year-old made the highest, third highest amount of saves in the top flights and impressed in a few of his displays. He has led Miklod Setzer and also technical director Edu targeting England on the 21 international. Gunners goalkeeper Bert Leno has been inconsistent since arriving from Bayer Leverkusen in 2018. The 29-year-old made several high-profile errors last season, particularly when he allowed a shot by Richarlison to squirm through his grasp and roll into the net via his shin in a 1-0 defeat against Everton. Aaron Ramsdale would likely be brought in as a second choice to Burt Leno with a view to taking the number one shirt in the future. Sky Sports reported in late July that Arsenal tabled a third offer for Aaron Ramsdale worth around £25 million. And Mick Law says I would want Aaron Ramsdale to be available for cup competitions to make sure he is ready to step up in Bert Leno's absence when the German departs permanently as is currently expected in 2022. That which has been granted by Sheffield United boss Slavisa Djokanovic who did not even rename Aaron Ramsdale on the bench for the club's League Cup tie against Carlisle. Aaron Ramsdale did Aaron Ramsdale did play for the Yorkshire outfit in their 1-0 championship defeat against Birmingham City on Saturday, but that does not make him ineligible for domestic league matches if he signs for Arsenal. The former Bournemouth shotstopper was a late call-up for the England Euro 2020 squad over the summer, with Dean Henderson dropping out due to a back problem. He marked as an impressive rise for Aaron Ramsdale, he went full circle by returning to Sheffield United in a £19 million transfer last summer. He came through the club's academy ranks before joining Bournemouth in 2017. A half-season loan at AFC Wimbledon in League 1 in 2019 helped him become one of the most highly rated young goalkeepers in the country, playing a huge role in the Dons' so-called great escape from relegation. Joining also would make him one of a number of additions to McClough at the side over the summer, and Sheffield United may have dropped that hint that Aaron Ramsdale to it also transfer is very possible and it could become a strong goalkeeper. So this nicely takes us on to the second piece of transfer news, which states that the £15 million transfer decision that could see also handed James Madison boost. So the reports are stating that Newcastle could be attempted to seal a quick-fire move for the Arsenal midfielder, having earned a boost to their respective summer funds. Newcastle United could potentially be tempted to make a quick-fire move for Arsenal midfielder Joe Willock, having earned a £5 million boost to their transfer funds. Former Magpie striker Adam Armstrong completed a £15 million switch to the Premier League rival Southampton on Tuesday evening. The Saints sealing his services from Championship outfit Blackburn Rovers as a replacement for Danny Ings. Whilst that does not seem strictly relevant to either Newcastle United or Arsenal at first glance, the Magpies have actually been handed a considerable amount with the completion of the deal. As reported by Chronicle Live, Newcastle United wrote a 40% sell-on close into the deal that initially took Armstrong to Ed Ewood Park in the summer of 2018, that figure being applied to the profit that Lancashire outfit earned on the English forward. Having initially paid £1.7 million for the then 21-year-old services, Blackburn Rovers have earned just under £14 million, meaning that £5.32 million is currently on its way to St James's Park. 
That figure could certainly have a knock-on effect for all Souls transfer business this summer, with Steve Bruce's men continuing to be linked with the suit for Joe Willock. As of now, a deal yet to be concluded, but it is understood that an agreement has been reached on the terms of his permanent move to the North East. With added funds from, Newcastle, from Armstrong sale, Newcastle could yet sign off the most moves sooner rather than later, thus handing also a considerable £25 million to their own transfer budget this summer. This knock-on effect could see them all could see then see also up the offer for Leicester City's James Madison. It is understood there is still some distance between the two clubs over the midfielder's current valuation, with the Foxes preferring a straight cash bid rather than a player plus cash deal. So it looks like the £50 million transfer decision that could see also handed James Madison boost. And I think this is a major boost in terms of Miklos Etten. And I think this is an opportunity for Arsenal to speed up their process in trying to secure James Madison as an Arsenal player. And this is because they were heavily reliant on what they received from Newcastle United. And Newcastle United just got that £6 million extra so they can utilise that in their £25 million buy of Joe Willock. And with that £25 million also could utilise that into bringing in James Madison with Leicester City firmly wanting only a cash deal. But even though they have been linked with some of our players previously, such as the likes of Rob Holding, I think this will be the sale of summer if the Gunners could utilise Rob Holding into the deal for James Madison. And I think also will have a major boost. But when it comes to Nicolas Tetter, he views Rob Holding as a main leader. He thinks he's one of the players that are a leader to the squad so that could be unlikely as well but you can't never know when it comes to these transfer windows things can change very rapidly and also could make the decision to bring Rob Holding out and bring James Madison in and we clearly can see that Arsenal do view James Madison as a priority and this is heavily due to other targets such as the likes of Martin Odegaard looking unlikely and James Madison for me will be a brilliant addition to this Arsenal squad. So we will have to wait and see how Arsenal will use the summer transfer window in the end. Make sure you check out the FA Cup post a special link I will put below in the description and smash that like button to see if you can reach 30 likes. Also subscribe for more daily videos and share the video with your Arsenal friends and family. Click one of the latest videos on the screen and I'll see you there.